Hi everyone. Uh, some time ago, as you know, a company got in touch with me called IC Station, and they sent me some free goods. And uh, and you know, they've not put pressure on or anything, and uh, they seem to be quite nice people. So I thought, well, okay, um, let's do this then. So they've sent me these items, and I'm going to go through each one of them and review it. So this is the first item they've sent me. Um, let's see if we can figure out what it is. So it's got a relay on it, a Songle relay, and I've seen those before. This is a 12 volt one though. Um, so with the relay there's a, a common, normally closed, and normally open usually. Um, so let's have a look at that. Yeah, there you go, normally open, closed, and uh, no, normally open, common, and closed. Um, so to start with, this thing is a relay to switch between two circuits, uh, or to switch something on and off or whatever and there's a capacitor there. I assume the capacitor is is uh, linked in with the relay. Um, let's have a quick look. Yeah, it seems to be. And that's to just ease the uh, the flow of electricity over the relay, I, I imagine. We've got key. What is key? Key. Uh, I don't know at the moment. And we've got two more things. We've got this power block here, which obviously is for power. As you can see there, 12 volts and ground. Um, and it is a 12 volt, you can see there, 12 VDC, so it's a 12 volt relay. Um, now, time to focus our attention on this thing. What is it? This little chip here, you see it? So it says PSF B01, and it's got some numbers. The first thing I want to do is find out, you know, what's under that label, because um, that's very interesting. Okay, I finally got it off. It took me about 10 minutes or something like that to get it off, but anyway... It says PSFB, and then it's got some other details. So it's 802.11bg and n, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, which is Wi-Fi. So that's a, a Wi-Fi module. I thought it would be something like the ES, like in the ESP family, but I don't know. PSFB, I don't know what that is at the moment, but we'll find out soon. So <coughs> it looks like at the moment it's a Wi-Fi controlled relay. Um, so yeah. This thing will probably have some sort of server software on it, and uh, the client connects to it and basically gives it a bit or something to say turn on and uh, on and off. So that's that. Key. I don't know what key does at the moment. Let's have a look at the other side and see what we can find. So um, I can see an AMS one 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 seven, which is a voltage regulator. I can see. 78M05, which is another voltage regulator. I can see, hmm, what else have we got here? A diode. Diode there. That looks like a diode. J3Y, I don't know what that is. Capacitor. A resistor. A few more resistors and capacitors. Right, okay. Uh, oh, there's an LED there as well. So, yeah, at the moment, I think this is a. Wi-Fi controlled relay, um, but I don't know what key does, so we'll, we'll soon find out. Um, okay, so I'll have a look at the listing now uh, that IC Station have, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the listing. Um, well, let's have a look at this. So Wi-Fi relay, delay switch module, self-lock mode, low power, smart home, remote control, compatible with iOS, Android, 2G, 3G, 4G network. And... It says six dollars uh, eighty-three. I don't know if that's. I don't know. Well, I assume that's U.S. dollars. Uh, Four pound fifty-two in U.K. in pounds. And there's a picture of it, and there's some more pictures there. And let's see what it says. So it's got the size, voltage, operating current, quiescent current. The output ports, so there's normally open, normally closed, mechanical switch output port. I'm not sure what what that means. Um, port to stand voltage, yep, no problem. Control way, I assume that means control method. Wi-Fi network control and supports 2G, 3G and 4G cell phone network. That's very interesting. The operating mode self-locking. And it says down here... Um, the inching relay will be closed after 0.5 seconds and self-locking 
stays locked. Okay, so if you turn it on, it stays it stays on. If you turn it off, it stays off. Okay, that seems to make sense. So let's see what else it says here. Um, input voltage, 7 to 15 volts. Okay. Matching key. That's interesting. I want to know what that does. And then it says here, it seems to say here how to wire it up and use it. Yeah, that makes sense. And it says application EWE Link. EWE Link, okay. So, um, at the moment, it seems that I've got to install the software. So, I'll go and do that now. Right, so I've got an Android phone and I found the EWE Link app, and I'll just open it now. And let's see what it does. So, it says. Um, well, we'll just say next to that. Enter EWE link. Press that there. And now it's asking for my email address and password. Um, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I had to register for an account, but that's okay. Let's log in. So, um, it says there are no devices paired. Tap the Add Device button below to begin pairing devices. So I'll click the plus. Okay, so the app says quick pairing touch GSM or Nest device and compatible pairing mode AP. So quick pairing, it says power up the model then press and hold the pairing button for 5 seconds until the LED indicator blinks twice and on repeatedly. For LED humidifier, well we're not doing hum LED humidifier. So first I need to give it 12 volts. And I'll just um, power this thing up. So 12 volts there. And ground here. So I've done that thing. So what does it say now? Uh, click next. So, um, hang on a minute, go back. Power up the model, press and hold the pairing button for 5 seconds. So where's the LED to start with? Oh there it is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Until the LED blinks twice on and off repeatedly. Right okay I've done that. Then quick pairing. Next. So choose a Wi-Fi and put the Wi-Fi password in. I'll just do this. and then press next okay and uh, what's it doing now please make sure your phone and the model are close enough to Wi-Fi router okay I'm about hmm, about three meters from a Wi-Fi router so no, no, yeah my device whatever so press complete Added successfully, the device is connecting to Wi Fi, it may take a few minutes. So, um, <coughs> so what's going on here? So, we've got, the, we've got the phone and we've got this thing. So, to start with, this cannot connect to Wi Fi because it doesn't know the, um, the SSID and the key, so it's impossible for it to connect to, to Wi Fi. Um, there are no other networks around here that they could have pre-programmed in China to connect to something other than a, a cellular sort of network, but there's no SIM card. So this has no internet access, or it had no, no, it had no internet access. So, um, so what have we done exactly? This must be a Bluetooth device as well as Wi-Fi. And what I think we've done, we've gone onto the app, then I think we've done Bluetooth pair using this app because this is blue. I think this is Bluetooth because this phone's Bluetooth. Um, I think we've connected these two together via Bluetooth, and then I think what we've done is we've written on the app the Wi-Fi details. We've connected over the Wi-Fi connection. We've sent over the Wi-Fi details to something that's flashed onto this chip, and then the chip seems to have. Um, got the Wi-Fi details and then used them to connect to Wi-Fi 
uh, or to connect to my Wi-Fi router in order to get internet access. Um, and now, I'm not 100% sure at the moment whether this is um, for internal Wi-Fi or LAN or whether it works outside. So now I suppose with this being Bluetooth, um, this could probably connect, you know, via connection, uh, tell it its address. Um, or it could work another way, where this connects to a server, which is in the cloud or whatever, and it gives the details to this one, and also gives this details of that one. I suppose that's also a possibility. Um, and we are using an app, and, you know, this app could be a service based on a server in China or wherever, I don't know. Anyway, so let's see if it works, uh, which it pretty much will do. Yeah. When I did that, I heard a click, and I could feel it too. So now it's on, and now it's off. So let's have a look at the current and um, voltage now. So it's off, and right now it's consuming. Um, well, it's actually flitting between between different amperages, but roughly it's consuming two hundred. Uh, no, twenty milliamps. Twenty milliamps at twelve volts. And let's see what it does when it's on. Okay, when it's on, it's taking let's have a look, 60 milliamps at 12 volts. Now, um, I'm going to lower the voltage and just see if it still works. Now I'm going to lower it to 9 because I think 9 might work. Let's turn that off again. So let's see if it clicks. Yep. waiting it says now so oh yeah yeah there's a click there click off click on there's a bit of a delay there now so I think I'll give it a bit more than 9 let's say 9.3 let's try again yep yeah 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 so we can get away with 9.4, 9.3, 9.4 volts, and off it still takes about 20 uh, milliamps, and on it takes 50 milliamps. So yeah, it's better to go lower voltage. Anyway, I'll turn this off and get it out of the way. So there we have it. I mean, this is um, it's obviously a thing to be able to control devices remotely so if you want to turn a lamp on or off or something like that then you can use this thing uh, connect it up um, to your circuit so it could be like um, I don't know anything really a lamp or whatever and you could get your phone and switch the lamp on without having to go up to it or maybe you could switch something off when you're out of the house uh, or whatever um, so you can control electrical outlets if you like remotely so I'll just disconnect this and we'll have one more look at it. So um, I want to look at the relay in particular. So it says 10 amps, 250 volts AC. So 10 amps, 250, that's 2.5 kilowatts. So yeah, that's that's able to deal with a lot. So you could. Um, I don't know, you could have a kettle full of water and you could get your phone, you're five minutes away from the house and you want it to boil the kettle or something, you can click that and you'd have the kettle uh, already turned on, um, you know, and done by the time you get home. I suppose that's one thing you could do. Um, so yeah, that's quite an interesting item. And there you go, so um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.